What's up, guys? This is the Rover and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my of my uh, my Napoleon Total War Let's Play as Great Britain. So to run off where we left off, we are having our first engagement against the Prussian dogs. Unfortunately, it is just this leading column. So I'm curious to see whether this will be like a regular ambush battle, or whether it will count as me being on the bridge, or you know, quite how that works. But we'll soon find out. But I think we should be able to chew them up quite comprehensively with our use of massed firepower. Really a lot. Oh no, it would just be a regular old battle. But, so the question is, do I spread my forces out? Because they are in column. They are in column, so I want to... Well, they will, they will deploy in column. And to be honest, this is quite a funky little route. Okay, so let's pick, get you guys out. Let's pick. So my Highlanders could advance in good order from this flank. A strong detachment of foot infantry can advance from the other side to get them caught in a crossfire. I'm going to go ahead and deploy... What powder makes misfires a certainty? Ugh. Right. So let's put... This one with six pounders. Are these all six pounders? Yeah, these are all six pounders. Get them all on this flank. And I'm as soon as we get into the battle, I'm gonna to want to uh, begin, um, uh, begin barraging. That's the one. So these guys are gonna bring out the rear. And then let's try. Let's hide in foot and hide in lights. Get someone up to over the front. Dot cavalry around. We don't quite know how this is going to go. Not probably not very well. Group units together by selecting them and clicking on the unit grouping button to the left of center on the battle control panel. Groups are useful for giving identical orders with a single command. You can reselect the group by clicking on its numbered tab or by pressing the corresponding number key. These guys. Okay, these guys are a bit being a bit funky as to where they want to go. Suck up a lot of their cavalry hitting these square formations, a lot of their infantry. Ooh, we're gonna get some we get some friendly fire off. I don't want to charge into their guns so much. Well but I might, I might do this. Get involved. Nope, they don't know where the hell they're going. You guys do want to stay in square, because they're coming in. Let's bring my dragoons about. All the gunners at least. Move on and hit the gunners. So these squares did an admiral job in breaking up their formations. You okay, you guys can't form squares because you're I don't know, it's presumably some sort of penalty. In which case now form up or at least spread out you're gonna get hit by them we have killed anyway general, now they must break. everyone go into the light horse ok 
Okay, hold on, that was a terrible misclick. Go in. Okay, halt all my artillery. Let's commit my cavalry. So get everyone over. It's John Moore. Get him over here. Hit him. Hit him, hit him, hit him. Because look at all these. Look at all of these routing Prussians. Go on, get in. Okay, these guys don't want to manually attack them, but let's just... We don't want to automatically attack them. Absolutely want to continue. Halt, fall back. Fall back. Sir John Moore milled at mowed at mowed on that Lanzer Lanvere. Oh no, don't charge. No way, no way. Who do, I, who do I want? Sir! Sir! Our general is under attack! Oh my god, he's literally my your general's being under attack! I was like, yeah, he's hitting militia. Of all the things to not worry about. Good God, man. But this is a... You go after that musketeer unit. You go after this musketeer unit. Okay, let's get... Okay, you're, yeah, you're, you're killing militia, which is not a priority. Let's get you in here against... Let's get you up here. Good. Because this is an absolutely fantastic victory. For the British, the first... These are the opening shots against the, the war against the Prussians. And we've ambushed their forces in a clear defeat. Oh, that's a gun team, actually. No, go for the musketeers. Because this is absolute slaughter. Let's probably speed up time a little bit and then let's re engage. Yeah, they're all shattered. Come on, you. I mean, they will all be able to flee, but fortunately, how they've managed to flee. Uh, there is still units on the field. Although, actually, I'll run one over here to start chasing down them. So, unfortunately, it will mean that this unit will slightly escape. They will escape. Okay, good, okay, good, 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 good. Let's bail on them. Let's get to John Moore over against this unit of Swiss Grens. You are need to hit that foot artillery at least. Everyone's engaged doing stuff. Good. Absolutely devastating. Yes, yeah, so we may not kill all of their grenadiers. To be honest, the grenadiers are the only thing left on the map. So let's just get everyone involved. Oh, we might get them. One remaining Swiss grenadier has been c c close. There is no way that was close. That ambush, and there wasn't anything they could do about it. Oop, my iPad slipped off. 405, 465 men lost, but the loss of 2,600 Prussians. That force is muted. Excellent. But we will need many more. So they are coming to attack Hanover. The Austrians are sieging there, which is not great. 
because weirdly it will mean Ooh, okay no do not do not oh dear well Oh, they, you know, they killed more than they had. <laughs> Adolf, Adolf Selig. Disaster. Disaster. It's annoying that pressure's taking Württemberg, but eventually I will also attack the Austrians, so it's not the end of the world. Army destroyed. Hey, but we did super well, Adolf Selig. Your name. I've got your number. Still replenishing. We're still replenishing. Yes. You've not already got far to go. Maintain siege at Innsbruck and then ready to move up and threaten to Bavaria. You, good sir, will uh, will maintain siege against Vie uh, Venice. Might actually fight that because that would be quite a nice little capture. That's quite a nice little, because uh, I know artillery, but maybe it's because I'm not bringing any, they're not getting any. So, yeah, they've got lots of um, junk militia units, so. Okay, so they've all, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to deploy. Deploy an infantry line. Deploy my light infantry ready to run forward in skirmish order and my general in the centre. Good. Actually, I'll just deploy my infantry there. Yeah. So run my light infantry in position. Walk my regular line infantry and move up my general. What have we got? Yeah, you got some musketeers, musketeers garrison, armed citizenry. Go on, light, light infantry at your command. You will be the first to engage the Prussian dogs. Actually, I'm going to run you all. Run! Let's run my line up into position two. Just because I don't want, to, don't want my light infantry to be too left behind. They should perform admirably, however, it feels like massed firepower may end up not being healthy for light troops. Considering they are a bit ahead of them. They're a bit ahead of my line. Even though, yeah, they're winded. My guys are tired. Let's speed up time. Ultimate my light infantry my light infantry will outrange them for a for a bit. Okay, in which case then let's advance up my light infantry like so. Let's take my line, which didn't need to run, because they've all very nicely moved back. Oh, I want no, I want all my infantry bar my general. So I want to hit your flank at its weakest. Where all your Prussian, where are your, where are all of your armed citizenry are, your landwehr garrison, your armed citizenry. So Venice, we are going to want to fortify because this is not a proper army, so it may struggle. Uh, the risk is there may be a Prussian army in somewhere in the darkness that I have not seen. Everyone's sad, okay. Maybe Sand's general is not gonna work. So we can run those guys up. To threaten them. Let's run. Actually let's run you guys up here. Catch this hill. And you guys continue to move up to skirmish their infantry while the remainder of this line moves up to meet them. General in the centre. We just need to start engaging and this will be very unhealthy for some of my troops. Yep, they're gonna get some shots on my guys wavering immediately because they are being shot in the flank and they are tired. So they could well rout but I've got a feeling once they form up 
if they do route, they'll come back pretty quick. So, you guys spin around. Present. Especially as... There we go. We're engaging them with solid British line infantry fire. So we should outfire power this Landwehr garrison. So these guys up on the hilltop starting to move up. Because this garrison is taking the bulk of the fire. Although, can you actually see them? Oh no, you're firing upon a different unit. Foot are engaging their men as they cross the crest of the hill. Yeah, they're not happy at all, they're on the flank, so. Move my general over here in the center. Sir, sir, our general is under attack. No, just run them out. Run them out of the way. Let my line infantry get up there and start doing some absolute devastating fire. So fire it well off for you. Or do I just do this? Get right up in their grill. I knew you couldn't hack it. Whereas my men are confident. Very confident. Good. Running, 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 running. Oh yes, 72nd Regiment of Foot. Is ready to pour fire into their poor, poor, poor adversaries. Ready, present. They may end up charging us in hand to hand combat, so get a volley off. Upset them at least. Second volley, second rank, present. Good, absolutely devastating. You men. Run, you turn your firewall on, your firewall on. So that fair garrison's managed to hold on. And the armed citizens are managing to pick up there you go. Confident. Confident. You are absolutely going to want to build walls in Venice because we don't know who is going to be responding. So I'm going to put my light infantry over here to start to pick up their retreating forces. As we move up, reform and re engage. These are garrison musketeers and they're Prussian infantry, so they aren't good. British infantry is just good. So, oh no, no, these men are like stuck on the on the. So they're going to take fire for a while until this guy catches up to them. Until, of course, these guys engage the Scottish Highland infantry, light infantry. You're not stuck anywhere. Nope, you're going to rock and roll. Fire. On. Is excellent. The morale is going to break fairly soon. Where is their general? Oh, this is their general unit. Musketeer garrison unit. Yeah, Molina infantry will not stand up to mast, mus mast, mus mast musket fire for very long. However, that's a lot of light troops to shoot at one unit. Particularly as these guys eventually get into position. There we go, they've broken. So let these guys do their full... Oh no, they're not going to get their full fire by rank duties off. Run them up. Yeah, 
do see this unit of armed citizenry returning, so let's... Oh god, they're actually running towards me. Something like that. Uh, the 71st has gained an experience, Chevron. Oh, this poor, poor musketeer garrison unit. British to the front of you, British to the flank. The 72nd will pour devastating fire into you, sir. Yeah, fire from multiple flanks. You're not going to stick with that. Come on, men. Fire at will. And so on. Although they didn't seem to like that very much. Set our long skirmish line because their centre is going to break, in which case we're going to want to bring up our line infantry to bear. Okay, so you've got. Landwehr garrison moving up. So do I move you men to go try capture the town? Yes. You men, engage this infantry unit in hand-to-hand -hand combat. All my light infantry is skirmishing with the enemy. Let's bring my general to the to the top of the trees, although he's a, he's at a lot of risk getting shot off his horse there. You done well, lads. So what do I want to do? Inspire the men. So I want you guys to come over here and support the armed citizenry fight. You. Okay. Bring these guys up to fill the hole. You guys go into reserve. You guys, one of you guys go over here. Oh, hello. Are they going to do a bayonet charge? You're going to see who takes the glory from this field. Well, not a bayonet charge, you're just going to deploy into me. Cheating. Can't do that. Why don't you continue to skirmish with this unit of armed citizenry? Ah, they form square. The best tactic to do against, against infantry units. So actually, it's not doing too badly in this area. Just do a rally just to see all the stars pop up. Or well, the 82nd Regiment of Foot gets decimated under the withering volleys of British infantry. British infantry, best of the world, except for mine. Get you into that house. Get you to form a narrow front here. We have taken the building, sir. Of course we have, lads. Go on into that Landwehr garrison. Same with you. Okay, no, just, just go in. No, don't, don't shoot them. Charge them, men. They can't withstand our bayonets. Not with their such poor morale. Just right. There we go, and they're in. Charge straight on to that musketeer garrison. We are taking the Russian way of war now. Good man. My garrison forces with my 
untested general has managed to secure Venice, a major hub, or will have secured Venice, a major hub in future for future operations against the Prussians. And actually, no, they're going to be a defensive anchor. That's what they're going to be. We need to get some walls built around here. Oh, there's enemy. Yes, good. We've taken the building, sir. Oh, one unit has reformed. Get him. Then it's a speed up time because yeah, end it. Cool. We can end it because it's an assault. Buy some more troops. Although I can't buy new troops yet because we'll be replenishing. And I'm not going to be liberating them. Because I need this state, so I'm not going to loot, even though it gets me loads of money, but I don't need it. So I'm going to occupy, so I can build some walls, repair the barracks, upgrade this and upgrade this. And I'm going to repair the harbour, and oh, my navy's there. So let's get Nolson to start blockading Trieste. Good. Well, replenishment is fine. We can recruit some reasonable units. I want to get the barracks fixed. Now, you can't recruit any artillery, but that's good. Yeah, so we're attacking. Yeah, we're attacking Innsbruck, which has no defences. We are not attacking Cleves because I would. The only choice, the only real, really weak unit is this unit of artillery. I don't know. Better safe than sorry. This panel shows you the Darkly charismatic. Oh yes, he's on his way to Ban Brandenburg. So you are waiting. You. We're going to Brandenburg too. So why don't you try and assassinate? Just go try and assassinate Bluka. Bang! Oh my God! I was, uh, I was not expecting that to work. Clifford Hartman, oh, that's him. Yeah, Venice captured. Ooh, and a lovely, lovely gold mine. Lovely, 640 gold per turn, that's lovely. I did not expect him to kill Bluka. I did not expect him to kill Bluka. Oh my god, this guy. Oh god, he's really good. August von Neisner. Oh god, this, this is a very elite army. Um, does Hanover have walls? It's building them. So we're at peace with Austria, but Austria... So I don't get how Austria are attacking my... How Austria are attacking my protectorate. Because they shouldn't be able to do that. Wellesley's fixing himself. John Moore is... Well... So which way do I move John Moore? Move John Moore to this bridge. Let's just move John Moore to the woods. So hopefully you can ambush people who cross this road once more. Um, and you... Oh, think, oh, the trip is a replenishment in this area is a bit naff. Oh, and you've got a musket manufactory, so I'm probably going to want to go on the offensive. Because if I capture this region, then that adds... The musket manufactory gives me... Oh, it's recruitment cost. Does it not benefit replenishment? Well, too late. We're attacking it now. Whereas here, I would... Ooh, actually, you're, you're depleted. No. I'd still like you in a bit better shape. Because by the looks of it, only a couple of turns and lots of the stuff will be finished. I don't mind a few units still recruiting. Um, but I don't want to, to bank on it. Okay. So the next territory is Vienna, Austria. Which is, is, is Vienna... Is Austria war with Prussia? No, just a war with Württemberg. So, it, so if they capture Württemberg, then I will. If they capture Württemberg, that might punt all these Prussians out. Or no, it'll punt them to Munich. So ideally, I'd like to secure Tyrol. But we've got a bit of time yet before that happens. So research. Three turns till I get my precious rifles. So you have got a very, very, very lucky one there, Bonaparte. So we're trading with everyone we can. Everyone loves us except for Württemberg. Because they're at war with everyone. And for some reason we're not. 
and the Papal States, but they're allied with Kingdom of Naples, and Naples really likes us, and we're allied with them. So that's pretty good. And Prussia is at war with probably not many people. No, just us and us and Württemberg. Um, but to capture these regions, to catch Oldenburg, Cleves, and Kessel. So the question is, which what, what do I give to my Belgian allies to keep building up the uh, the Kingdom of Belgium? Because they have little to no forces right now. This is quite powerful because they've got Brussels and Amsterdam together. Two nice big cities with two decent ports. Hmm. I'm going to hit enter and see what happens. Uh, my spies are on the move. Reinforcements are on the move. And I'm probably going to get some artillery. Is going to go to Venice. Yes. So the French are on the move. Yeah, they're moving a lot of forces westward, so I'm going to want to... Ooh! Ooh! So, we've just had a brilliant ambush with John Moore in this part. Let's see, I wonder how successful we'll be in the next part with August von Neisenau's exceptionally elite army. Significantly more elite... Well, not significantly. Well, the artillery's pretty good, the cavalry's... Is, no, my cavalry's more elite, my artillery's... My artillery isn't, so it'd be nice to knock them out. Um, their infantry has got a few elite units. The 57th and 42nd are pretty elite. Uh, the 29th Regiment, Swiss Line, is pretty darn elite. We've got our King's German Legion. Accuracy 46 versus... Okay, so regular foot infantry. 44, 14s across the board, generally. Well, a couple of 42s. So we don't want to get into melee combat with them. We've got high defence. Okay, so we can outshoot them, but we don't want to get to melee with them. Not, a, not really. That's the not preferable option. They've got lots of artillery, which you know ambush isn't to their benefit because they're quite static and not very useful. But I'm just rambling at this point. Uh, looking at the timer, it's absolutely the end of this part. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the ambush of August von Neisenau.